So guys, I've been laying everything out and getting ready for the airbag install. So I'm excited, let's get going. So I'm just gonna uh, quickly talk you through what I've got laid out here. So I've uh, sort of done a little bit of prep really. Um, so obviously there's the two bags. These are the brackets we're gonna be using to secure it to the vehicle. Uh, these are the bottom base brackets. You'll see where they go in a minute. These are the top brackets uh, that fit on here. We've got a couple of little air pipe unions that fit into the top of the bags underneath them little they'll peel off and they, they'll screw into there uh, we have the delivery pump air pump which is there and uh, what I've been doing actually uh, we've been sorting out the wiring loom the harness I've been threading my um, pipes my C, uh, my delivery pipes um, that go from the, the control switches which will be up in the dashboard to the airbags at the back through this conduit stuff it's not the easiest thing to uh, thread through but um, this conduit is actually split so you've got to peel it open and then just literally um, get the pipe through but I wanted to make sure it's all um, all the way through from the back of the vehicle to the front of the vehicle right let's just get underneath and have a look underneath the vehicle just while we're still up here as well uh, so my vehicle if you watched the previous video I had to relocate my alarm system my um, van bits growler alarm system so we're going to the hole i've already just sorted the holes out um, one switch is in position the other two switches will be in position later on um, so that's where they're going to go now sort of more into the center of the vehicle we also have um, mount i've pr already prepped this one up is the pressure gauges and the switches so we'll show you a bit more of that in a minute i had to go in and um, uh, relocate my dremel for this job there's a um you've got to take a little bit off the back of it so uh, literally it's a case of just running the dremel around the back of this plastic um, box and fixing in the gauges which is simple enough you can see pretty straightforward we'll come we'll get some pictures of this tagged in so it anybody wants to follow um, the instructions or whatever you know the, the um, positions of the pipes but um, it's all looking nice and like neat and uh, well finished off so uh, that's all good um, okay underneath right the other thing I was actually gonna do first off is just get a bit of WD up around the top of them bump stops that's one side and then we're gonna move over to the other side and just score a little bit in there the same as the U-bolts, I'm just going to score a little bit on the U-bolts because they're going to have to come undone. So we'll do a little bit on them. We're going to turn around, do the front ones, there they are, they're 22 mil sockets. I'll just, I'll get the light on a bit better in a minute, but uh, there we go. So the other thing I want to show you guys, we're, so I've been having a little look where the pipes are going to run. I think the pipes are going to come around the front of the fuel tank and there is the battery location so which obviously the battery is inside the cab we'll show you inside in a minute so uh, I'm looking possibly to run the let me just get my light in position there a little bit better so uh, yeah I'm just sort of uh, checking this job out a little bit for the routing of the pipes I think the the air pipes are actually going to come up around here there's a couple of little brackets up here that I can secure them to and then there is a hole there which is for the battery breather I believe but I might be able to utilize another place there in this box and run the pipes up through there I think that's the uh, direction we're going in so meanwhile back in the vehicle yeah I've been having a little bit of a, a recce um, as the fitting of different components and one of the things so down through there is the hole um, that you can see and I think my my battery breather pipe is not actually located in it but I think that's where the breather pipe should actually go down through that one like that but like I say there's a big uh, big hole there almost needs to be a hole where I think I'm going to uh, trunk the pipes up through and I've been looking to possibly mount which I think I'm going to do the air pump inside of here so yeah and then uh, I'm hoping that the pipes are going to come up over here 
and uh, we're just going to drop this little panel out and we're going to run the pipes up to the switches and I see, you know, I've got plenty of room in that back battery box and uh, obviously the little pump's going to make a bit of a drrrr and uh, with the rubber gaskets onto the plastic it might sort of dampen um, things down a little bit and obviously it's going to be right underneath the um, that cover uh, and all the carpets and everything so uh, we'll give it a whirl anyway, see what uh, happens. Um, I've already, uh, there's, uh, this should get back with a light, so there's my wires for my van bits um, growler alarm system just hanging out of there um, so they're just going to be uh, relocated there I think that's going to be all nice and uh, I had length on the wire from the fuse box obviously they wore over in this direction so let's get going so where I've actually got the pit vehicle um, here in a workshop facility I have got a 13 ton uh, twin ram uh, commercial jack and bean up there but um, to be honest the position the vehicle is at the moment um, I'm going to uh, switch around which I've already um, got these two bottle jacks in position can you see the bottle jack and I've positioned some wood along the chassis to uh, protect it and the same the other side see if we can get that one so there's the uh, twin jacks either side so I've already taken a bit of weight and uh, all of a sudden the uh, the gap between the the bump stop um, starts getting wider so if I just jack a little bit on the you can see that bump stop rising up to give us that uh, room for the airbag okay so the bump stop needs to be uh, firstly removed so I've literally got a bit of a blunt screwdriver and a nice lumpy hammer so let's uh, see how lucky I'm hoping that at the end of the day this vehicle is still fairly fairly fresh out of the box so uh, it shouldn't be too horrendous with a bit of luck and that is going great guns I need to go and get my gloves on that is the next thing so I can grip it and turn it okay the gloves are on and now we're gonna just remove that bump stop so guys if you're doing this job just make sure that the vehicle is well supported get some really heavy duty uh, jacks and uh, by all means use axle stands if you've got some available but uh, just be super careful but there's no uh, need to get the wheels off the ground we're just literally taking the body of the vehicle away from the chassis of the vehicle the axle there he is that's gone Okay, same again for the offside. Get my blunt screwdriver in position. Look at that. Easy. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see if I can get on that. Yeah, that's perfect. tight again I'll give him another little bit of a assistance probably another squirt of dove not that it needs it desperately get another shot of that in there the WD doesn't go on this kick in what else would you be doing March the 2nd on a rainy day Keep fit regime <laughs> stretching. Oh, there she is. There she is. Oh, nice, lovely. Let's 
goes. Perfect. So the next little bit is the 10.9 uh, grade bolts. So there's different tensile bolts. Uh, these are 10.9 grade, which are heavy duty bolts. Not that there's any comparison. The only uh, other ones we got are some eight mils on this job that are 8.8 uh, .8 grade. So they're, uh, but these are the, the heavy duty boys that actually go back into the chassis. So I'm just gonna uh, screw these up in with, hang on, we need copper grease. So there, he's all greased up now. That will actually make it go in a bit easier. And obviously if it ever needs to uh, come out, it will make the job really easy. Okay, let's get my socket involved. So this is a 17 mil socket on the ratchet. So these brackets are sat in a position where this is at the rear, the other one's at the front. The holes for the, for the, to secure the top mounting bracket on the bag. Okay, so we'll just leave him there for a second. Make sure the position's spot on. Again, nice dark dab of copper grease on that one. And uh, same again, we're gonna uh, just slide that up and screw that in. Again, just get in the position of that. So I've got an air gun <laughs> and I expect a lot of people are going to say it is easy with an air gun, yes and it is, but uh, it can be achieved, but obviously on making the video it uh, takes me a lot longer. So we'll just uh, remove them two bolts. On this one, there's two washers on each nut, so then it's around the front end. Two on the front end, exactly the same. Then there's our little U-bolts, that's the U-bolts, and there's the plate that we're going to remove because that's what gets replaced with the other bracket they supply. So now it's a case of just building up the bag with the bracketry, slide that off. That's the airport. If I can access it. <laughs> nice sticker on there to keep all the debris out. Okay. Just gonna make sure that has all disappeared. There's a O-ring on the coupling that's got a seal down. So just make sure all that uh, glue paper is out of the way on that little hole. So that bracket there will fit on that one. So we'll do them first. A little bit of copper slip on them, just if they ever need to come back out again. There's one. Two. 
so going in like that. It's, a little, it's quite tight actually, I'm just hoping my socket will sit on there. If not, we'll have to go for a spanner. Let's go and get the socket. So believe it or not, the difference between the two sockets, the impact socket will not sit on there, but the conventional chrome style will just about squeeze in. Or will it? <laughs> oh, it will on that one. But uh, we're not too bothered. Let's uh, whack that one up. I've got a spanner here anyway. Hang on, let's uh, get that one nipped up there. No. So, back to conventional spanner. To nip it up. Lovely. That's cool. Okay, we'll just get a little union. And that is going to be facing in that way. So we're just going to screw that in there. And these nuts on here, you can just tighten up. Hold the uh, little elbow in position and just tweak that up. There he is. Okay, so we'll just as well put the other bracket on. Build up that one. So that's the underneath. Get the bolts lined up again. A little bit of copper slip as per. say later on if you ever need to if someone ever needs to change a bag they will be counting my lucky their lucky stars that I've used a bit of copper slip and it just hopefully saves the day in the future or if we ever need to change a bag at any stage I'm gonna uh, I've got some wax oil that uh, at the end we shall be coating again we're just going to tweak them up. You can see I've got quite a long ratchet here, so uh, I'm kind of used to, I don't know what sort of torque this is, probably about, uh, knowing Joff, it's about 60 PS or, or um, 60 Newton meters, something like that. But uh, as long as they're tweaked up like that, perfect. Right, well, that's one bag. While I'm here then, let's do it all again. Just for the record, I don't know if you can see the end of the bolt, they are actually Joff bolts. You can see that. Make sure you use genuine Joff bolts. Just something to note actually, I'm just looking the fact that this does move around. So I'm going to get this dead central. There's a little bit of uh, leeway 
on them slots. So I must check the other one as well. I'm just going to get that a little bit more centre. But uh, it can always be adjusted a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to bring that one back as well. Just get the central position. I want it central. So just for the record guys, if anybody doesn't want to do this job and wants a recommendation, um, give Gary at Aeroid UK a shout. They're based in Swindon, they've got fitting places all over the country. Um, you might have seen Gary at a lot of shows, Aeroid. I've actually spoken to him this week actually about this kit and he said, um, Possibly, Joff, <laughs> you might be after some of my brackets um, in the future because I think my brackets are superior to these ones. So uh, we're just doing a little bit of a trial run. Yeah, we might actually end up with some of Gary's brackets. <laughs> so he reckons, it, like I say, he reckons these are uh, superior to this and uh, maybe a right Gary. So uh, um, yeah, the only thing I've just sort of noted at the moment is the fact that uh, um, after removing the um, the plates that are the originals the locating pin that's on top of the spring um, you obviously lose that so okay let's get these fitted anyway something else i've just noted um, i was just about to sort of get the airbag ready to go in position the washers that i'd put on this lower bracket were looking a little bit crinkled already so i've actually removed them washers the little small ones and uh, got some bigger ones to try and spread the load a little bit over a bit more over the bracket so something else to note so just noting the fact that once i install this bag i'm probably gonna it's gonna be probably a little bit tricky getting to this top pipe connection so what i'm going to actually do is we will apply it now right so we get the nut on onto the pipe like that and then what you almost need to do is just do a little kind of circular motion while holding that like that so then your nut will come up and tighten up on that join like so okay so with the pipe connected we're going to uh, slide in the bag over the top may need to take a little bit more weight I don't know so the bag actually sits in there Okay, that's okay. I've just squashed it down, so it's just going to rise up a little bit. And uh, then we can get our locating bolt in up the top. Like that. So I'm going to, that mountain bolt, I'm just going to slack it off and get a little bit more relaxed position. I'm going to get everything lined up now, get the U-bolts back in the bottom. So there is the nylock nut going onto the bolt. It goes through the top. That one there. That's okay. Right, I'm going to leave that one for a second and return to the U-bolts, the which we're just going to put a little smear of the old uh, jollop on again the copper slip and then we're going to uh, locate the bottom like so there under that uh, clamp the u-bolt the same on the rear a little bit of a manipulation like that that looks good okay well we'll get the nuts back on the u-bolts i think t 
two washers, the nut. Even after removing these and doing them up with an air gun, I shall be checking them with a strong bar because I'd rather feel what uh, tension is on these. Okay, there we go. Right, we'll smack them up. Make sure. Make sure they go. Make sure they got nice and even. Do the real one. sort of warm off with the gloves. My fingers are getting a little bit slippery again now, but uh, pushing the button on the camera. So I've just slid my socket onto the top bolt. So we're just going to, because that's a normal There he is. He's home and dry. That one, because uh, you don't need to go over the top on that. It's a nylock nut. Now all I need to do next is tighten everything now is nicely sat in line um, i'm going to tighten that top 10.9 grade 17, 17 mil spanner size bolt um, get that tightened up and then we shall be lazing on to the other side just squeeze the spanner in there the one that's going to be nicely tightened up because it will take some good strain on that bar. That's perfect. Right, I'm just going to get a uh, strong bar, check these U-bolts down the bottom. So I've got a big heavy duty ratchet on these. Taking them up nice and even. Pull that down. I will be checking these after it's run as well. And the other side. Just to allow everything to bed in, settle down. Watch your edge off. <laughs> Talking about health and safety. Whoa, there we go, lovely. Perfect. Right, let's crack on with the other side. There's one bag, and the other bag is now in position over that side as well, looking sweet as a nut. Uh, the other thing, what I've done is uh, just um, rooted the cables these uh, conduit pipes, the air pipes, up around for a second and we're just going to move forward a minute. I've just come, let's just have a little look here a minute, and uh, yeah we've just come as far as this so uh, what we've done is come, we're going to be clipping all this up so we've come be behind the tank, let me just get my light so we can see what we're doing here, and uh, we've got that anti-row bar which we've uh, gone above with the, uh, the trunk in. So uh, it's just a case of actually running that trunk in all the way along here in behind these clamps. I think I'm just gonna go next to these clamps and we'll clip it all the way. And then behind this heat shield, above that heat shield the exhaust, then we'll come out the other side, follow that trunk in all the way through. And uh, then we will be going up and uh, making an incision in that battery box at the bottom there somewhere. Um, we might even, um, mm, haven't quite got to that yet. I'll do, so whether I'm gonna go up through there, um, that hole, 
next to that little breather pipe. I'm not sure. We'll come to that in a minute. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll run a zip tie up close to this clamp. I'll leave them loose for a minute. We'll just zip them together like that and then uh, we can finish off. We run it round real in that bracket for the two pipes. So make sure you've got a load of zip ties if you're thinking about doing this little operation. Let's come back with these pipes. The black one through there, like that, like that. make sure I've got my little bit of slack at the back because obviously you, what you've got to do is just allow for that suspension going up and down with them air pipes going to it so we'll come along there a little bit um, we'll throw another cable tie around there for a second and then we'll come on around under that Just coming around the exhaust pipe that I want to get up in under that. Uh, let's just get another cable tie ready. So we're going to come under that little heat shield, come up to this little clamp, whether I think it's going to, and we can utilize that little clamp there. That's okay, ready out. So I'm just coming around the front of the diesel tank now. This is the diesel tank on this side. So I'm just gonna pull them up a little bit there. And then I think we're getting close to getting an incision in the bottom of this carrier. And then uh, these will probably clip up there and uh, come in round nice and tidy. Okay. Okay, so I think I've made the decision and I think I'm gonna go back, what I was thinking at the beginning, I'm gonna uh, come up through that flat there. So I've just got my drill ready and uh, with a cone cutter on it and I'm just gonna sneak in there and hopefully we're gonna make super efficiently uh, I reckon that is enough to get them two pipes through so what we'll do is get to find the end of the black one <laughs> I've left them all uh, like this because it just makes it easier so let's uh, let's just see if that one's looking that's definitely going to be a two, a two trunker, I think. So we'll just poke that up through there. The it's going to be clipped up around there. I'll probably come the other this side of that breather pipe just like that. That'll be cool. Let's get that other one poked up through as well. So there's the blue going up through the air pipe. Just poke them up through there. And then we'll, uh, should be long enough to get right up to the switches. All right, am I gonna be lucky enough? There we go, that's gonna be perfect. There we go, we can always put a little bit of sealer. So let's just, just bring in them two bits of conduit a little bit tighter together. So I think I'm just gonna, uh, Use uh, oh, trying to get the uh, camera and the light in the position that you require is a little bit tricky, but uh, we'll just get that one on there 
and then so they're just gonna slide up around there like that okay so we've uh, got everything clipped up we're just gonna snick off these cable ties around this area I think that's just about it will come back and have a second look at that in a bit when I just uh, right they're all nice and tidy right it's in the cab tie now I think right so I'm going to just take a quick look at this compressor that's going to be the next thing that I want to uh, mount in that little box and hopefully I want to get it up that way so I'm probably going to have to turn this bracket so we need the sort of bracket that kind of angle like that but then the actual unit needs to sit about there like that so I'm just I wonder if that bracket comes off it probably does because I might be able to mark some holes up with that if I can get it in the right right I'm going to uh, quickly put that in that's my little uh, air connection for the supply which is the red line so we're going to put that in there and then we're just taking a look so we've got these little rubber mounting blocks that go in between they supply these little tiny screws i'm not sure whether i'm going to use them yet i might be upgrading to some six mil little bolts i think would possibly on the outside some um repair washers like penny washers style so i'm just going to go and roughly get a vision of where this is going to go mark it up um, uh, so mark roughly and then uh, so just get the position of it um, and then I can take this off and uh, with a bit of luck yeah I can take that screw out and just slide that off so let's do that next so I've done the markings uh, there's two up there and two down below um, so I'm going to try and get these drilled and get that bracket bolted so just securing the pump and I've utilised some 6mm bolts um, which are 10mm spanner size I've just poked the uh, top two through um, the bottom two the nuts are caught underneath so I'm just going to go underneath and catch these nuts on the top two um, so yeah all looking good so the pump is all secured the compressor all secured up with a little 6mm I'm probably going to uh, double up the nuts on the underneath because um, I've used ordinary uh, six mil nuts so um, they're pretty tight to be honest but uh, um, they squeeze up on the rubber but um, I'll probably put some um, extra nuts on there just to lock them off um, so I've just laid it on a little bit but look, look at that that is uh, perfect so the next thing I think is to get the red um, bit of air pipe fed up with the um, other three uh, with the other two bits and then I'll make three going up to the switches and uh, then just a little uh, wiring harness to uh, snuggle in there and uh, we'll be getting close to with the end I think okay right I have now got the pipes all the way up through the dash we'll show you from the other side in a minute I've just been sort of like having a little wiggle around with this wiring loom um, there is a little tiny relay that comes with the loom and that is potentially just going to have a little self tapper um, through there and uh, locate into the body with that little relay the rest of the loom I've sort of lost down the battery tray um, you there is a negative terminal that goes to the battery there and a positive terminal that comes off as well that goes over here we won't connect that just yet but um which I'm just sort of got to this stage where um, I'm just jiggling about myself really just to uh, um, see which is the best sort of like angle to do this so anyway yeah there so the next two they're the two wires that actually go to the compressor so that's pretty straightforward these two here um, will join on to them so we'll do that in a second and then the other 
wires that come out of the loom are the ones that actually go up to the switches so that's that little bunch there so you've got two two whites there's a white with a piggyback off it red with the same so we're going to feed them back up through i'm just going to go to the other side now and show you what we've done with this little um, bunch of air pipes yeah basically what we've done so there are two air pipes in the conduit and the red one is coming up through and I just unscrewed this and then we've taken it up behind here uh, nice and neatly and cable tied it all up um, then so then you can see the blue actually because that's where it runs out of uh, conduit and then down behind the dash I've even uh, put in a nice little rubber clamp just to uh, clamp up where it comes up around the angle so uh, it's a job to sort of see it but it's obviously down behind the dash um, we're tr just trying to keep it nice and tidy you can see it get a bit of an angle there like, where it comes across and then it eventually comes up to the dashboard so we'll uh, be i'm just going to now i'm going to trunk the switches up screw that little relay on and uh, we're getting close i think um okay so this is what we should have ended up with up in the uh, dash where the displays go pressure gauges we got our three pipes and the rest of the wiring loom coming up so uh, the next thing to do i'm going to um, connect these up so there's my pipes look so exactly the same principle unscrew the little knurled nut and uh, connect them all up and then I've got a little bit of wiring to do uh, so them little um, spade connectors go on the bottoms of the switches which are fairly straightforward so uh, that's not a problem we'll get that done and then we'll sh uh, get a couple of pictures of that as well so uh, just for the reference of where the uh, sh the um, terminals go but um, right let's get that sort of done um, it's probably easier just for me to show you like this and then we'll just uh, like I say it's just a case of connecting them up and uh, screwing that back into position so we'll get them connected and then we'll uh, have another little look turned this kind of round now uh, just to show you where the wires go so um, if I just operate the switch so I've just connected the battery on as well and we have got we've got life on both switches so this is how the wires go coming up um, you've got the reds go into the terminal that's sort of horizontal with the switch and the white wire is on the other one. So this is just the, uh, the power coming up, I'll operate the switch and then obviously it sends the power down to the, the pump. So I'm going to box this up, hopefully um, that's like enough to see there how it goes. It actually will because them wires are down on the lower side. So uh, we're going to um, snick that back in now and try and let the pipes um, get a nice kind of like, just let them sort of no lie naturally, trying to get in there without sort of kinking them too much or anything. Don't want to kink them at all if I can help it. 
So there it is, it's all back in position, uh, even the lower panel, and I've relocated my van bits switches for the alarm system so they're now over on this side so a little bit more accessible to be honest so uh, I'm happy with that um, they used to be sort of around here so you used to sort of forget about them a little bit sometimes I, I want to try and use them a little bit more really um, I don't use them that often enough but anyway so the um, floor is back on I've just put the mats in for the time being um, until I get uh, home later on I get the mats back in but um, so I've just put pumped a little bit of air into each bag because I'm just going to go underneath in a minute and just uh, um, j finish off the cable ties underneath along the chassis so let's just pump it the noise what's the noise like it's fine just take it up out of the red and then I've got to go down get it down and uh, get my jacks back out so I'll just get into the green for a minute and hold it there right I'm just going to finish it off underneath and then get the jacks out and then we should be pretty good to nearly go so I've got the jack out so I'm just uh, pumping it up to two bar two and a half bar let's give them up two and a half bar two and a half bar each bag there we go so we're going to have a little look at that underneath now see what it's looking like Definitely taking the roid oil up a bit. <laughs> cool, yeah. <laughs> Looks lovely. Plenty of uh, clearance there now. Let's have a look what underneath. All looking good. If I ever need to get the spare wheel out, it's going to be uh, pretty handy to give you a bit of extra ground clearance as well. That's perfect. So I'm just going to uh, finish off with a bit of wax oil around all that. Stop it corroding. Whack a bit around there over them new bolts I uh, blasted them off on the wire wheel so they're all nice and clean get a bit of that stuff around all the bolts and the connections up there just to finish off and then I'm going to get out on the road which I'm proper excited about a little bit darker this side so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video guys and maybe inspired you to uh, um, maybe fit some air suspension and uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it's gone to be fair, it's not a bad little number, um, obviously if you need any more information give me a shout and like I said earlier, if, it's, uh, if you want this sort of system fitted, give Gary a shout at Aeroid UK and uh, he will endeavour to sort you out. Just mention Mo Hotel Adventures, and uh, I might be I might be contacting Gary about some of his. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what they're like. Actually, I remember um, he, he, he talked to him with me on the phone, and uh, he said, "Oh, mine are far superior than them, them Joff." So uh, I hope you watch this video, Gary, and uh, maybe he might send me some brackets. See how good your brackets are. Uh, but we'll see how the bags last up. At the end of the day, um, the an airbag in this situation if it does go pop um, it's not going to be too much of an issue because obviously you've still got the the spring in position holding everything together so it's not a uh, if you do spring a leak but uh, our cables are all squeaky now all the way up through oh just a little bit of wax oil on them nuts uh, up through there we'll smack a bit on there it just stops it corroding smack a bit up through there and even around the hole but uh, that is excellent so that's me done and dusted thanks for watching guys and we will catch you on the next video